الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقتدم من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you brothers and sisters. <clears throat> we'll just revise yesterday's lesson. This is the main theme of the lesson. Adarthu Saminu, lesson number eight. In which we are learning in detail uh, what nouns are definite, and how to identify them. Okay, brothers and sisters. So here we have seven categories of noun. All the mahir. Whether they are marfu, or mansub, or majroor, they are all definite. We just remember that. They are definite. And then, alamu. What is alamu? Proper nouns. In English we say proper nouns. They are always definite. All the names of people, places, they are all definite. All demonstrative pronouns. These are all definite. And then, Alismul Mausula. Allazi, Allati, Allazina. Allati, these are all definite. And then Al Muhalla Bil Al. Remember this word, Al Muhalla. What is the meaning of Al Muhalla? Decorated with, adorned with. Huh? You decorate something, you decorate a noun with Al, and it becomes 
definite. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. And then, al mudaf al marifa. Huh? When the when the mudaf ilahi is marifa, mudaf is definite. Okay, brother. And then, an nakiratul maksudatu. What is the meaning of maksudatu? Aimed at. Huh? Aimed at. Huh? It's an indefinite noun, but it is aimed at by using harfu nida. Huh? Bin nida. By calling. So then that indefinite noun becomes definite. Ya waladu. Ya rajulu. No, rajulun is a, any man. But when you say, Ya Rajulu, then that is one particular man you are calling. Huh? So, Ya Waladu, Ya Rajulu, or you can even say, Ya Muhammadu, but Muhammad was already definite. So, Ya did not really make any difference to it. You know? But remember this. Now, I will quickly revise the lesson. And then you will have to immediately... Uh, Underline with pencil or highlighter, where are the definite nouns and where are the indefinite nouns. And if they are definite, in which category they come. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So it gives you a lot of practice. Brother. Al-Mushtari, the buyer. Al-Mushtari, is it definite? Why? You will say, al muhalla bi Al, huh? then you will describe it. Al Muhalla bi al. Al Adaika is ka definite? Yes. Why? Because it is damir. You will say damir. Huh? Aklamun, of course, it is indefinite. Do you have pens? Huh? We go into a store and we ask, do you have pens? Or do you have ball pens? Huh? Do you have pencils, ink pen, etc., etc.? Sahabul Mahal. Huh? So what will you say? Al Mudafu ala Marifa. Sahib is definite. Why? Because it is mudaf to the Marifa. Nam Ladaina Aklamun Hebrin. Aklamu Hebrin. So Hebrin is indefinite. So Aklamu is indefinite. Wa huh? Aklamun. Of course, it is indefinite. Jafatun. That's the nat. Huh? We have uh, ink pens and uh, ball pens. Now, you know, this book was written 40 years ago. The ink pens were very popular at that time. Now it's an obsolete thing. Nobody uses ink pen, you know. <coughs> Parker 51. It was the prized pen once upon a time, you know. Fine, brothers and sisters. So, Ladai Na, Na definite, why? It's a Damir. You will say a Damir. Huh? Very good. Al Mushtari. Atini, is Ya Mutakalam? Definite. definite, why? Damir. damir. Zaka, is Zaka definite? Yes. Is Mushara. Huh? Yushiru ila kalamin. So kalamin is indefinite. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So you will have to make columns, you know, in your book. And then write down the uh, nouns. And then you will write down why. You will say, al-muhalla bi al. Huh? Or you will say, al-mudaf ila marifa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Al Mudaf Ela Marifa. I should write down Ela here. Al Mudaf Ela Marifa. Okay. Atini, give me. Huh? We dis described Atini yesterday. Inshallah, you remember that. Atini, give me Zaka. Zaka is Zalika. What is Zaka here? I know that. 
Mafulun bihi. Remember, Ata Yuti will have two Mafulun bihi. Inshallah, you'll remember that. Huh? Okay. Sahabul Mahal. Haza, what is Haza? Ismusha. Is it definite? Of course it is definite. Huh? Al Mushtari. La. Al Ladi. Fawkahu. So Al Ladi is definite. And Fawka is our zarf. And who is mudaf ilayhi majroor? But it is definite. Huh? Okay. This, no. The one which is above it. Hmm? Sahibul mal. Haza, this, al mushtari. Naam. Wa'atini kalama rasasin. And give me pencil. Okay, brothers and sisters. So again, aati ni. Ni, Nunu Vikaya, and Yamutakalam as a Mafulun Bihi, huh? and Kalama, another Mafulun Bihi. Remember, Ata, Yoti will have two Mafulun Bihi. So these are the things that we'll remember. Now, let me tell you something more, brothers and sisters. Book 3 has got a lot of information, tons of information. Huh? And sometimes it is overwhelming. As you will see in the next lesson, next lesson is very long. It may take us two sessions to complete it. And you will see the information is coming from everywhere, left and right. You know. So what shall we do? We are progressing at a steady pace. Every day we must go forward. So this is my suggestion to you, brothers and sisters. Make your notes hmm, and understand it. If you do not memorize it, doesn't matter. Huh, Sister Abhi? Understanding is important. And with your notes, what will happen later on when you will revise it, everything will come into its proper place. So do not uh, unnecessarily put yourself in a position where you feel kind of a under distress, you know. Don't feel that way. Try to understand as much as you can and revise as much as you can and write down your notes so that when you will revise, it will become very clear to you. I have had many students, brothers and sisters, they said we have to revise book three over and over again because the information is so much in it that you will need to revise it over and over again. But inshallah, I am hoping, brothers and sisters, that after the course finishes, when we will study Quran, then all these rules we have to bring in front and apply to the Quran. So everything that we will be studying in Quran will be a revision of book 3 and 2. So it will come to you. Huh? See, our relationship with the Quran is forever and ever. As long as we breathe, we have a relationship with Quran. Huh? So, so our love and relationship with Quran will remain, and it will remain in the light of all the rules that we are learning. And we will be studying Quran, understanding Quran in the background of the language. That we are learning, inshallah. Hope you follow me, brothers and sisters. Inshallah. Is it clear? <coughs> so do not, do not worry. Do not get uh, distressed. Huh? Take it as it comes. Understand it. Write your notes. And we move forward. Huh? Inshallah. Sahibul Mahal. Haza kalamu rasasin. Haza muptada kalamu khabar. Wa huwa mudaf. And mudaf ilayhi. This is a pencil. Atini daftaran. See, daftaran is indefinite. Ni, yamotakalam is definite. Why? It's a damir. It's a damir. Sahibul mahal. A daftaru. Definite. Why? Mohalla bi al. Decorated with al. Anwa'un mukhtalifun. The notebook 
is of many kinds. Aye, now in Turidu, Uridu Daftaran, again indefinite. Vza is a not. Warakin, indefinite. Mudafilehi, Musattarin. Za Warakin, Musattarin. Musattarin is also indefinite. Eh? Warakin is Mudafilehi, and Musattarin is your not. Hmm? Fine, brother and sister. Ala gilafihi. Is gilaf indefinite? Yes. Why? What will you say? Al mudaf ila marifa. Are you with me? Al mudaf ila marifa. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Kharitatul alamil islamiyi. Okay, brothers and sisters, is kharitatu definite? Yes. Why? Al mudaf ila marifa. And what is al islamiyi? Not. Huh? Okay, fine. So, I want a notebook which is lined. Pages are lined. Walakin is a page. And on the cover of it, there is a map of Islamic world. Clear, brothers and sisters? The meaning is clear? Sahibul Mahal. Aturidu Shayyan Akhara. What is the translation? Do you need anything more? Any other thing? Do you need any other thing? Al-Mushtari, hmm? la. Sahibul Mahal. Yunadi Ibnahu. So whether, is Ibn definite? Yes. yes. Why? Al-Mudaf ila Ma'rifah. This is all the categories will be Bearing in mind. Now, brothers and sisters, Yunadi. What is Ibn? Mafulun bihi. Wa huwa mudaf and mudafili. Ya waladu. Is ya. What is ya? Harfunida. Is waladu definite? Yes. Yeah. What will you say? An nakiratul maksudatu bin nida. Huh? Da. Hadhi. Is hadhi definite? Yes, it's Mushara. And it is Mafulun Bihi. And what is Allah Shia'a? Badal. Fi ki sin. No, ki sin is indefinite. Eh? So, Dr. Sai will also ask us to go to the main lesson and find out all the nouns which are indefinite. So then we will make a list of indefinite nouns. Eh? Now this lesson gives a thorough practice of uh, Marifa and Nakira. Huh? Inshallah. Lil Mushtari. A Tilmizun Anta. What is Anta? Definite. Why? It's a Damir. It's a, a Damir. Huh? Right. Naham. Masmuka. Is Ka definite? Yes. Why? Damir. It's Damir. What about Ismu? Is definite? Why? Al Mudaf ila Marifa. Ismi Malikun. Is Ism definite? Yes. Why? Mudaf ila Marifa. Is Malikun definite? Yes. Why? It is Al Alamun. This is the way we will do it, inshallah. Fi ayyi madrasatin tadrusu. In which school you study? Malik. Fi madrasati umar thanaviya. Fi madrasati umar thanaviya. Okay, brothers and sisters. Is madrasati definite? Yes. Why? Al mudaf ila marifa. Fine, brother. Is umar definite? Yes. Why? It's alam. Huh? And thanaviyati is your naat for madrasa. Yusallimu lahu. See, lahu. Jar Majur is who definite? Yes. Why? It's Damir. Huh? Al Waladu is it definite? Yes. Why? Al Muhalla bi Al. And Al Ashia definite? Yes. Why? Al Muhalla bi Al. 
fiki sin. Now it is indefinite. Wa yadfa'u malikun kimat ha. Ha is damir. Is kimat definite? Yes. Why? Al mudaf ila marifa. Wa yakhruju. Yusallimu lahu waladu al ashya'a. The the boy gives him the things in a bag and Malik pays the price of it and he goes out. <clears throat> Sahibul Man. Ya Maliku. Is Maliku definite? Yes. It was already definite. So Ya did not make any difference to it. Huh? We have to understand that. Taal. Come now again we will do this Taal here inshallah. Hadihi lawhatun jamilatun. This is a beautiful plate huh? or tablet. Tahvi containing ayatin. What is it, brothers and sisters? Ayatin wa ahadisa. Containing ayatin wa ahadisa. <coughs> Tell me one thing, brother. What is tahvi? Fail. What is Mahdi? Hawa, Yahvi, Tahvi. Fine. <clears throat> Why it is Tahvi? Because it is Lahvatun. It's a monus. Lahvatun. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, tell me what is Ayatin? Mafulun bihi, mashallah, mashallah. Jama monus salim. Brothers and sisters, this is beautiful. <clears throat> now you understand eh, that ayatin, which has a kasra, but it is mansub. Eh? This knowledge will help you to understand Quran, inshallah. And wa ahadisa. What is this? Mautufun ala ayatin. And it is mansub. Eh? But this is a plural mafailu. Eh? Uh, it is dipped out. That is why there is a single fata. Ayatin has a tanween kasra, but a haditha has a single fata. Why single fata? Because it is a dipped out. Here, hadiyatun laka. Is ka definite? Why? It's a damir. Huh? Shukran, yakrau. Ma indakum. Is kum definite? Yes. Damir. Huh? Yanfadu wa ma in the lawhi bakin. Okay, al Muslimu, this is a hadith, brother. Man, al Muslimu definite? Yes. yes. Muhalla bilal. Man definite? Yes. Yes, why? Ismu mausula. And how about ma in the kum? Is ma definite? Yes. yes. What is it? Ismu Mausula, mashallah, mashallah. Excellent, brothers. Alhamdulillah. You are getting stronger in your understanding. Al Muslimuna definite? Muhalla bil al. Lisanihi, is Lisani definite? Why? Al Mudafila Marifa. Wa Yadihi, is it definite? Why? Mudama fila Marifa. Rawahu, Shaykhan. Okay, brother. Is who definite? Yes. Why? It's Damir. Is Shaykhani definite? Yes. Why? Yes. Muhalla bil. See now, tell me one thing, brother and sister. What would you call this? al Puri. <laughs> Inshallah. It's easy, isn't it? Keep this in your mind. And you know something? You do not have to memorize. Why? You already know it. You already have a good idea about all these things, Inshallah. So you, you do not have to sit down. You already may have memorized it, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, the questions. Malashya uh, ullati shtaraha malik. Okay. What will you say? Alashya ullati shtaraha malik. Hiya kalamun wa daftarun. Okay. Aina yadrusu malik. Yadrusu Malik fi madrasati umar thaniviya. Okay. 
<clears throat> now you have to study the lesson, read it a couple of times, and then write the answers at home. Here I'm doing a little fast, because we just read the lesson once. You may not have memorized everything. So I would request you to read the lesson and then write down these answers at home. And if you have difficulty, you have the Hallo Tamarin. Brothers and sisters, Hallo Tamarin and the key of third book, these are very important tools that you have. We did not have the luxury of having these things when we were studying. You are very, very fortunate. So make use of them, inshallah. Read the key as often as you can. Keep it next to your bedside. So that whenever you, you know, have time, you read it. Before you go to bed, you read it. And inshallah, it will make you strong in your understanding. Maza. Maza. Hawatil. What will you say? Maza. Hawatil. Lahwatu. What is this? Hawat. And then you say Hawatil. What is it, brothers and sisters? No. Fail and fire. MashaAllah. Fail and fire. What kind of a fail is this? Nakis. How did you get this? Let us do it now. Let's conjugate. Hawa. Hawaya, Havau. Huh? What will you say? Havau. And then Havat. Got the idea? This is Tao Thani, see. Okay? And you drop the Ya. Huh? You, we have to understand all these things, inshallah. You will say Havatil Lahwatu. Ayatin wa ahaditha, inshallah. I will read it quickly because what we are reading, we already read in the key in English. Now we are reading the lesson, which is uh, the same thing is explained in Arabic. Alismu, brothers and sisters, imma marifa wa imma nakira. Translation The noun is either definite. Or indefinite. For ma rifatu ma dalla ala muayyanin. What is the meaning of muayyanin? Particular. Huh? Definite, specific. What is muayyana? Hmm? What is it? Muayyana. It is ism mafur. Ayyana, you ayyinu. Muayyin and muayyan. Huh? Something which is particular or specific or definite. Huh? So, the definite noun indicates us something which has been defined or which is made particular. Okay. For example, ka Muhammadin, like Muhammadin. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? The meaning is clear? وَأَنْتَ وَهَذَا وَكِتَابُ الْمُدَرِّسِ وَالْجَامِيَةِ These are all definite nouns. Got the idea? So it points out, Al-Marifa points out to a particular thing, brothers and sisters. وَالنَّكِرَةُ An indefinite. مَا دَلَّ عَلَى غَيْرِ مُعَيِّن Which is not specified, not uh, Definite, not particular. Ka rajulin like a man, wa kitabin, wa jamiatin. Clear, brothers and sisters? Aksamul marifa. Kinds of marifa. Al marifu, sabatu aksamin. It is of seven kinds. Okay. Number one, damir. 
Okay? Vishnu, example, anava, antava, huva. Now, what is this? Vatau min kataptu, katapta, katapti. What is the meaning of this? No, no, tau, te, anta, anti, antuma. Mashallah. Huh? Tatumatum, titumatunna, tuna. These are all definite. And they are marfu. We are going to study. There is a lesson coming on Damayar only. And we will study in detail uh, the kinds of Damayar. Right? Marfu, Mansu, Majiru. That is the beauty of Medina books, brothers and sisters. The Dr. Sahib has done amazing thing. And if you study Medina books, Alhamdulillah, you know 90% of the grammar. So what about 10%? The 10% is the grammar that is not frequently used. Are you with me? You don't use, it's rarely used. But with the knowledge of 90%, brothers and sisters, that 10% when it, when it comes in front of you, you will understand. Because you already have a foundation. So you won't find it difficult. Inshallah, when Dr. Sahib comes uh, here in October, we will have special classes with him. We will have special classes with him. And he will explain us many things that he did not describe in the books, inshallah. So we are all looking forward to meeting him in person and sitting in the class and having him standing and explaining us, inshallah. Number two, Al Alamu. What is Al Alamu? Proper nouns, brother. You got it. Ahmadu wal Hindu wal wa Makkatu. Ismu lishara. Mislu aza wa zalika wa hadhihi wa tilka wa haulai. Al ismu mausula. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Mislu al ladhi wa ladhina wa lati wa lati wa ma wa man. What are they, brothers and sisters? al mausula taini They are both. They are both ismul mausula. Number five, al muhalla bi al. Got the idea? Al kitabu wa rajulu. Al mudafu la marifa. Kitabuhu wa kitabu hamidin wa kitabu hada. These are all Al Mudaf Ila Marifa. And now here is an example. Wakitabul Lazi. What is Al Lazi here? Mudaf ilahi. MashaAllah. Excellent. Huh? Okay. But it is Marifa. So Kitab is Marifa? Yes. Kitab became Marifa because it is Al Mudaf ila Marifa. Very good. Kharaja min al Fasli kabla Kalilin. Wa Kitabul Mudarisi. Amma al Mudaf ila Nakira. Fa Nakiratun. If it is Mudaf ila Nakira, then it is Nakira. Mishlu Kitabu Talibin. Talibin is Mudaf ilahi. It is Nakira. Is Kitabu Marifa or Nakira? Nakira. Why? Because Mudaf Ilehi is Nakira, indefinite. Rabaitu Mudarishin, the house of a teacher. Fine. An Nakira tul Maksuda tu bin Nida, Mithlu ya Rajulu wa ya Shaykhu. Is a Nadaita Rajulan wa Shaykhan Muayya Naini. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? If those sheikh and man, if they are called, and we know they are specific, particular, then they are all definite because of Arfunida. Amma, Amman Nakiratu, Gairu Maksudati, Bin Nida, Fanakiratun. If 
the, the noun which is indefinite, brothers and sisters, okay, and you call with her funida, okay, but you are not calling a particular person, okay, then that noun remains indefinite. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And what is the best example for that? Kakaule uh, ama, like the call of a blind man who is standing uh, on the street corner and asking somebody, Oh man, help me to cross the road. So it means any man. At that time, that ya did not make that noun definite. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Gairu maksudati means it is not aimed at a particular individual. Fine, brothers and sisters. Well, ma'rifatu and the definite noun la tatagayaru haluha. But then what kind of verb is this? Tatagayaru. Form? Form 5. Tagayara. To change. Tatagayaru. Where is the file? Sister Hafsa? Halu. Mashallah. Mashallah. See, your mind is now uh, identifying it. Because file is to be marfu. So halu is your file. And it is mudah, mudafili. Pinnida. Ya Khalidu Ya Haza. It means, you know, the marifa, the, the definite noun, its condition does not change by nida. Got the idea? It remains definite. Whether you have arfu nida in front of it, or you don't have it. Read the sentence properly, brothers and sisters. Al-marifatu La tatagayaru haluha bin nida. The definite noun, its condition does not change by harfu nida. Ya khalidu, ya haza. Inshallah. So that's it, brothers and sisters. Hati salasata amsilatin lin nakira. What are the three examples, brother? Kalamun, Kitabun, uh, Rajulun, that any, any three nouns, okay? Hati salata amsilatin li kulli kismin min aksamil marifa. Now give, you know, three examples of everything. I'm sure you can give. Huh? You can give three examples of all. Write down in the order, uh, like this, brothers and sisters, and then you will just write down three examples. We have written some of them here. Is it clear? Very simple, brother. Istakhraj min ad-darsi ma fihi min nakhira. Everything that is in noun is indefinite in the main dars, write it. Huh? Find out. Huh? Inshallah you can do it. Huh? Now number four. Istakhraj min ad-darsi ma fihi min ma'rifa. Wazkur nawa kulli wahidin minha. The way we did it in the beginning. Huh? You have to do it and write it. But then sisters, if you get time, do it. Otherwise even as a shortcut, because we are, we have uh, limited time in our hand. You have got lots of responsibility. Read the lesson and do it in your mind. Read the lesson and do it in your mind. Varada fit darsi. It was mentioned in the dars. Uh, what was mentioned? Ya waladu, ya maliku. Ayuhum maktasaba. What is the meaning of iktasaba? Gained. Write down. To gain. Or obtain. Huh? 
Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ayyuhum maktasaba At-tarifa Which one gained the definiteness? Bin nida Al-waladu Only al-waladu huh? Because Malik was already definite Good, good answer, Brother Hassan Very good Ikral hadith al Read the uh, following hadith Wa ayyin ma fihi Min nakirati wal ma'arifi Wa skur Wa kulli ma'arifatin Are you with me brothers? We just have to uh, When we see ma'arifa Then we describe the reason for it Okay fine And Anasin Ibn Malikin. Anasin. An is your harcha. So Anasin. Is it definite? Why? Al Alam. Very good. Okay. And then it is Ibni. Is Ibni definite? Why? Ma'arifa. You will say Al Mudafila Ma'arifa. So you will write down the nouns on in one column. And then you will describe. Nakira and Marifa, both. Huh? In Nakira, we don't have to describe. But in Marifa, you describe. Huh? Anna Rajulan. What is Rajulan? Nakira. Thala Nabiya. Marifa. Mohalla bil al. Matasatu. Ya Rasulallahi. When is the. Day of judgment, O Prophet of Allah. Asatu, is it definite? Yes. Mahalla Mila. Ya Rasul Lallahi. So, brother and sister, Rasul is definite because of? It is both face, but it is definite. Even there was no, no ya, it was still definite. Why definite? Are you with me? Rasulullah. What did ya do? It made Rasulu into Rasulu into Rasulullah. Huh? Okay, fine, brothers and sisters. Is Allah definite? Why? It has got Allah also. Ma adatta laha. What is this word, brother? Tell me form. Form four. Form four. What is it, brothers and sisters? Adda. This comes from Adda and then Adda. To prepare. This verb comes quite often in the Quran. Brother. Allah has prepared <coughs> Jannah for the Mu'mineen and Jahannam for the Kafirin. So let's conjugate. Adda. Adda. Addu. Addat. Addata. And then? Adadna. Huh? Then we break the idgham. Huh? Why did you break the idgham? Mutaharik pronouns. Huh? Remember all these things, brother. Inshallah, now our mind should have the answers ready for us, you know. Mutaharik pronoun came, I had to break the idham. Huh? Okay, fine, brother. So it is Ma Adatta. What have you prepared for it? So what is Ma? Ismu Istifam. What is it? Ismu Istifam. Adatta. What is Ta? 
Filed. Yes, very good. It's filed. Is it definite, indefinite? Why it is definite? Damir, it is damir. Laha. Is ha definite? Why? It is damir. Now, again ma has come. What is this ma? Harfu nakira. This is negation. Ma adattu laha min kathiri salatin wala saumin wala sadakatin. Salatin. Is it definite, indefinite? Indefinite. Salatin. Wala saumin and sadakatin. Why? So what is the meaning? I haven't prepared for it with many salats. It means he has not prayed many salats and he has not kept many fast and he has not given a lot of charity. He said, I haven't prepared. Well, I can nani, but what is ya? Ismu lakinna mansubun. Sahi? Ismu lakinna mansubun. Ah, brother Hassan? Okay. So, lakinna has come. Min akhwatu inna. Ya is ismu lakinna mansubun. And where is the khabar lakinna? Jumla failure. Ohibbu allaha. Okay. Allaha wa rasulahu. Is rasula definite? Why? Al mudafila marifa. Kaala. Then Prophet replied, Anta, what is Anta? Muftada. Definite? Yes. Why? Damir. Anta ma'aman ahbabta. You are with whom you love. Ma'a. What is Ma'a? Zarf. And what is this man? Mudafilehi, mashallah, excellent. It's a mausula, definite. Huh? It is, it's a mausula. But also, you know, to understand that man is here, mudafilehi. That was a good answer, brother Abdul Samad. See, our mind now should work in every way in the sentence and figure out all these things, inshallah. Ahbabta, what is this? Ahbabta. This is, brother and sister, this is Jumla failure. This is Jumla failure. Fine, brother and sister. And then, then and that is your Silatul Mahsud. Huh? Very good. But what kind of a verb is this? Fine, form four, mashallah. See, are, are you feeling now the verbs? Can you feel it when they come? This is extremely important, brother Hassan. We should know the verbs when they come and identify them. Ahabba, same like this. Form four. Huh? Are you okay, brother Hassan? Are you alright, brother? Hmm? Ahabba, can we conjugate? Ahabba, Ahabba, Ahabbu, Ahabbat, Ahabbata. Ahbabna. Huh? You break the dhikam. Mutarik pronoun. Yohibbu. Yohibbani. Yohibbuna. Tohibbu. Tohibbani. Yohibbna. Again, mutarik pronoun. You break it. Huh? Inshallah you will remember. See now, it's, it's a joy to do all these things. Because we can do with confidence. And we understand what we are doing inshallah. In a, instead of just simply memorizing, uh, we understand what we are saying. You know, we have memorized uh, with understanding, inshallah. Got the idea, brother? Muttafakun alayhi. Muttafakun. What kind of a noun is this? Ism maful. Okay. What is the madi? Ittafaka. Ittafaka. Are you with me? Form? Eight. Form eight. Uh, what is the root of it? Ittafaka. 
She got lost. <laughs> she ittafaka. Huh? And from there, yattafiku, muttafik, and muttafak. Huh? It's mu mafur. Now it comes from Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The ta, okay, the vowel change into ta. Huh? Let me write it down. Let me write it down properly, brother. Okay? Now I'm making it into form 8. What is form 8? Ifta'ala. What is it? Ifta'ala. So let's do it. I'm doing this here, brother and sister. It's not necessary for me to do it. But I'm doing it so that you get used to it. By the time the lesson comes for Form 8, you know everything, inshallah. And you will love that lesson, inshallah. So, are you with me? If tafaka, not the vowel will change into ta. Huh? So it became... And then we give it the ram, brother, and it became. Got the idea, brothers and sisters, inshallah. <clears throat> no, we are not supposed to do it. Huh? But I just did it to give you extra practice so that you are preparing yourself for the ultimate lesson in Form 8. Remember, each Form has got a lesson on its own. Again, that is the beauty of uh, Medina books. And that is farsightedness. Eh? And the vision of Dr. Abdul Rahim. You know? Each form has an independent lesson in which what will come? Nothing will come except that form. So we'll get a lot of practice, inshallah. How will? What is how will? Amar, how wala you have will to change. Kullun nakiratin mimmayati ila marifa bitarikati maskurati amamaha. In a way which is mentioned in front of it. Sayaratun belidafati. So what will you do now? How will you. Uh, Change this sayaratun into marifa by by idafa. Idafa, idafa means mudaf mudafili. So sayaratul Muhammadin, sayaratul mudarrisi, anything you want. Bil idafa means by making it into mudaf. Okay, got the idea? Rasulun bitahliyatiha by decoration of it. Bi al. Ar Rasul, fine. Ustadu bin Nida. Now tell me, brother. I don't think this is a, uh, this is a halwa puri. This is a half jalebi, or maybe a quarter jalebi. <laughs> These are very easy, inshallah. Is takhrish min darsi bifalaini lil mudaf. Ila marifa. So you can you can do it, huh, inshallah. You will find out two examples with mudaf, mudaf ilahi, which is marifa and which is nakira. Salasata amsilati lismi fail mushtaki min fairest salasil mujarid. Three examples of ismu fail derived from three letter verbs. So al mushtari is not. It is a smooth file, but it is not from three letter verb. When Dr. Sam says, uh, we should go to the dars huh? and see if there are any smooth file. Sahib, yes. Sahib is your smooth file. Excellent, brother. Sahib. And Malik is your smooth file. Bakin, yes. Bakin, yes, that is from 
your no, Bakiya Yabka. Uh, so in other words, you have Sahib, and then you have Malik, and then you have Bakin. So these are the three examples. Yes, Sister Naima? What's the root word for Bakin? Bakin? Bakiya. Ba, Kaf, and Ya. Bakiya. Then, <laughs> see, Sister Naima? Bakiya, and it became ba kin, and baka, uh, it became. See the difference? Huh? See the difference? Huh? It's kaf, and this is kaf. Huh? No, sister, man uh, three-letter verbs means. Any three letter verbs, whether it is Salim, Mahmuz, Mudaf, Misal, Ajwaf, Nakis, doesn't matter. They are all three letter verbs. Huh? Are you with me? So, Muslim is a, is a some file from four letter verb. And Mushtari is a some file from form eight. Huh? So, that will not be called from three letter verbs. Huh? <clears throat> okay, brothers and sisters? Misalan lin nasbi. Now from the thus. Okay, it is al islami you. al islami you. Remember? What is the example of, you know, this nasab? We say Canada. Canada you. Are you with me? America. America you. Okay, so we put ya with a shadda. Huh? Arabi you, yes. Pakistani you. Afghanistani you. Afghanistani you. Got the idea? Huh? Okay. So this is how we do it. Yujra tamrinani. Yujra tamrinani shafviyani alatiyani. You know. Yujra, is brothers and sisters, is a fiel majhul, you know. It is coming from Ajra, Yujri, huh? Ajra, Yujri. Ajra, what is the meaning of Ajra? To perform. To perform. Or you can say, to carry out. Or even you can say, to make. Yujra tamrinani. Yujra tamrinani shafviyani alatiyani. You know, two exercises are, oral exercises are carried out. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yakulu kullu talibin li zamilihi. It's a good exercise. I hope you will do it, inshallah. If when you are sitting amongst yourself, try to do it, okay? What will you say to the person in front of you? Atini kalamaka. Give me your pen. Atini kitabaka. Give me your book. Atini daftaraka. Huh? So, so it will make it you will have a practice. What will happen? You will be practicing Atini. Atini Sayarataka. Forget it. <laughs> yes. Daftaraka. Mafulunbi. Atini has two mafulunbi. Atini Yamatakalam. One mafulunbi. Kalamaka. Mudah mudafili. Kalama is your number two mafulunbi. Kitaba, number two mafulun bihi. Daftara, your two mafulun bihi. Huh? Cannot be daftari. No. This is your fail amar. Ati. Huh? And then, ni. And then,
Where is your mafulun being number one? And then, Laftara. Mafulun bihi number two. Are you with me? Aati. Where is the file? Mostatir. Takadiruhu anta. How will you describe Aati? Fellow Amrin. Mabniun ala. Hadafi harfi illa. Are you with me? File Mostatir. Takadiruhu anta. Yakulu kulu talibin zamilihi. Mushiran ila zamilin akhara. Pointing out to the his colleague. Huh? Okay. You need, every student will ask his colleague, pointing out to the other colleague. Huh? What will you say then? Atihi. Give him kitabaka. Huh? So he is your mafulun bihi number one, and kitaba is your mafulun bihi number two. Daftaraka, inshallah. Mibarataka, your pencil sharpener. Fine. Ta'allam. Learn. Ta'allam al-afal al-atiyata. Ta'allam. What is ta'allam? Form five. Form five. Form five. Okay. Ta'allama yata'allam. Okay. Brother, see, what we are studying, we have already done our studies on these verbs. Huh? They are not new to us. Nada. What form it is? Form three. What are they? Form three. Okay. Nada. How many words? Four words. Huh? What will be the mudarya? Junadi. Huh? And what is the amar? Nadi. Huh? So from Yunadi, brothers and sisters, from Yunadi, we have already done it, inshallah. It's a good revision for you. Yunadi. Brother Hassan, how many chops? Two chops. Huh? Okay, chop number one, chop number two. Huh? So what is the result now? Nadi. Fellow Amrin, Mabni Unala. Hadfi harfi illa. Masha. There is the file. Mustatir. Takdiruhu anta. Fine brother. Nada yunadi. Make a some file now. Munadin. What will you say? Munadin. 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 And if you put alif lam, then it will become al- Munadi. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. Make yourself maful. Munada. See, all these things we should know. And, and do it with confidence. This is what will you be studying in the Quran. And in a, in a, in a, in a quick, you know, like, I should say, in a, in a split of a second, these things will come to your mind when you will study Quran. Inshallah. Munada. Munada. Are you with me? <clears throat> okay, brothers and sisters. Now, we already did Mahdi. We did Mudarya. We did Amar. We did Ism File. We did Ism Maful. What is left now? Master. master. Nida. Nida. What is the Master. Nida, Nida, Nida Un. Okay. What is original? Sister Madina. What is original from Nada Yunadi? What will be the original master? Nida Yun. Are you with me? Nida Yun. That Ya change into Hamza. What is the pattern? Fi'alun. We have to even remember that. Fi'alun. I give you another huh? noun, brothers and sisters. Alaja. To do a treatment. Alaja. 
Mudharia you are Liju Master. You have said this hundreds and thousands of times in your life. Ilaj. Ilaj. So where is this Ilaj coming from? Alaja. You are Liju. Ilaj. What is the pattern? Fialun. Got the idea? Inshallah you will keep that in mind. Huh? Inshallah. Dafa Yatfav. Okay. You will come across all these, you know, in the Quran, inshallah. Rabbana innana samiyana munadi yunadi lil iman. They will all come. Next one, brothers and sisters. Nafida yanfadu. Takulu nafidat. Nusakhu hazal kitabi fil maktabati. What is the translation? The copy of this book has run out from the library. The, cop- the copies of this book. Huh? Nusakhun is uh, plural. Nusakhun is singular. Yes, Sister Madina? Dafa yatfaw. Dafa means to push. But also dafa means to Take your money out of your pocket and push it out. In other words, to pay. <laughs> Are you with me? Dafa means to pay. But Dafa means to push. So what did you do? You pushed your money out of your pocket or purse and you paid it. Huh? So Dafa is also to pay and, and also to push something. Nafidat. Where is the verb? Nafida. What is ta? Ta. Where is the file? Nusakhu. Wahua. And what is mudafilehi? Haza. Wal kitabi? Badal. Masha'Allah. Fil maktabati jar majroom. See, how do you feel about it? Eh? Don't you feel that you can understand now, brothers and sisters? And feel happy and, and feeling uh, joyful in your heart, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, we understand it, we can do it. And this is the way you will, inshallah, understand Quran and, and absorb it in your heart, inshallah. Sallama shayya lahu ay atahu iyahu. My brothers and sisters, Sister Memuna, Atahu, what is this Ata? What is this Ata, brothers and sisters? What kind of a verb is this? Form four. But is it Madi, Mudare, Amar? What is it? Madi. How do I, why I write this like this? Because, no, it's Madi. When you have Damir as a Mafulun Bihi attached to it, it, Ya change into Alef. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So you know this is Ata is Felumadin Mabniunala Fatahtil Mukaddara. Are you with me? Okay, see there is a Fatah Mukaddara on Ya. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Remember, Fel Madi is always Mabni. Fine. And what is this? Who? I know it is Damir. What is who? Mafulun bihi, brother. Mafulun bihi. Eh? Mafulun bihi. Now, look at it, brother. Atahu iyahu. Ata, brothers and sisters. This is the fail madi. Where is the file? Where is the file? 
No, it's a mustate. Takdiruhu huwa. He gave it to him. Okay. Where are two mafulun be, sister Maimona? Ata should have two mafulun be. Huh? So one mafulun be is who? Where is the second mafulun be? Iyahu. Iyahu. This we are going to learn. I think I did hint to you, but you have forgotten. Huh? See, the first mafulun be, sister Maimona, brothers and sisters, I am just trying to explain you in advance. This is what will come later on in the lessons. But I am just trying to prepare you. I always feel like throwing things at you. Maybe some of you will remember. And it will make the lessons easier, inshallah. Aata who? What is this who? How will I describe who? Damirun Muttasilun. What is it? Damirun Muttasilun. Mabniyun ala damma fi mahalli nasbin mafulun bihi number one five and what is iyahu damirun munfasilun what is it munfasilun are you with me brothers and sisters so here this is another form of a mansub damir which comes as a Damir Munfasil on its own. Remember, this Damir, brothers and sisters, who and Ka and all these things, uh, they are always Muttasil, they are attached. They cannot stand on its own. So what shall we do? Then we have an, another form. We put Iya into it. And then the Damir will stand on its own. Huh? Iya is like a support. Now they can stand on its own. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Iya huh? ka. See, we say every single day. Huh? Hundred of times. What is it, brothers and sisters? So this is Damir Munfasil. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So here, I have an example for you. Mansub form. What is this? Mansub form. Huh? How many kinds of Damir we have? Muttasil and Munfasil. Okay. Munfasil will have Ya. Can you, can you uh, conjugate or can you make 14 pronouns into it? Iyahu, Iyahuma, Iyahum, Iyaha, Iyahuma, Iyahunna, Iyaka, Iyakuma, Iyakum, Iyaki, Iyakuma, Iyakunna, Iyaya. What is it? Iyaya and then Iyana. What are these brothers and sisters? Damirun, Munfasilun. But Mansu, you got to understand. Huh? Mansu. Isn't it a beautiful thing, brother? And you know, we say Iyaka na Abadu all the time. Okay? Iyaka, here it is used for extra emphasis and it has been brought forward. Otherwise, we would have said Na Abadu ka. Are you with me? Na Abadu ka. But instead of ka, which is damir muttasil, we change into damir munfasil and brought it forward. Iya ka nabudu. Inshallah, we are going to learn. Huh? Did you understand me a little bit? Yes. Huh? Inshallah, we will we'll do more. Inshallah. So this is it, sister uh, Mamuna. Ata hu number one mafulun bihi and iya hu number to mafulun bi. Why we are using this damir uh, nasab, which is munfasil? There are certain rules, huh? so sir Mahmuna. There are certain rules where we use this damir, and we are going to learn in the lesson which will, which is devoted only to to learning the damir.
A very interesting lesson. And what will happen when you come there? You will eat it like halwa puri. And you will swallow it quickly. Because inshallah, you are very strong. And you are going to love it. But then sister, I always feel, book three is so beautiful. People get scared. They get gabrified from book three. I say book three is most beautiful. You will love it. Provided we have a good foundation in book one and book two, then the book three becomes very easy, inshallah. So these extra explanation about the ma'ir, munfasil, muttasil, does not scare you, does not gabrify you. Huh? But it's just because we know it, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Again, I'm not supposed to do it, but I did it. Huh? Okay? Just to prepare you for the future lessons, inshallah. Okay. Sallama shayya lahu means atahu yahu. You, he gave it to him. Takulu, you say, Sallam tu daftara lil mudaris. What is the meaning of this? I gave the notebook to the mudaris. Okay. What is the mudaria? You sallimu. Amma, as far sallama alayhi. See the difference, brother and sister? Lahu and ala. Sallama alayhi fa ma'anahu kala lahu salamu alayka. Got the idea, brother and sisters? So you got to understand this. Huh? Sallama ala means to say salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Two meanings. The meaning change with the use of preposition. Huh? Sallama ala means to say salamu alaykum. And Sallama Lahu means uh, to give it to somebody. Okay? Inshallah you will keep it. Kad arafta hadha min kablu. We have already, you know, learned this in before. Salima. Now this is the root. Fail falasi mujarad. Salima yaslamu. What is the meaning of? To escape a danger. What is it? To be safe, to be saved, to be secure, and harmed. Okay. Salima, yes, lamu. Takulu, you say, in kalabat sayaratuhu. Translation, brother? His car overturned. Huh? His car overturned. What kind of a verb is this? In kalabat? Form 7, Alhamdulillah. See, you know it now, huh? Alhamdulillah. Why this is Tau Tanisi here? Because the file is Mohannas. Where is the file? Sayyaratu. That is why it is in Kalabat. Huh? And what is this who doing here? Mudafilihi. Mudafilihi. Are you with me? It's Damir Muttasil. Walakinnahu. But he is. He was, you can say, he was Salima. He was unharmed. Did you get the translation? His car overturned, but he was unharmed. He was safe. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So that is the meaning of Salima. Hati Jama. Rasmail Atiya. Kinsen. That's your plastic bag, huh? Any, any bag, you know, brothers and sisters. What is the jama? Akhiyasun. Can you write down Akhiyasun, inshallah? Okay. And brother and sister, I tell you one more thing. You have Hallo Tamarin. Anytime you get confused, check the answers in Hallo Tamarin. You got everything at your fingertips. Huh? You don't have to go far. Lau Hatun, you can say Lau Hatun. Okay. Kharitatun, Kharaitu, you can say, or Kharitatun also you can say, both of them are correct. Gilafun, Aglifatun, Aglifatun, or there are many, uh, uh, you know, plurals for this, you know, okay. Write down Aglifatun. 
Lisanun Alsinatun. See? See, Dr. Sahib has given these two together. So there is a pattern is the same. Aglifatun and Alsinatun. Yadun Aidin. Why Aidin, brother? What kind of a verb is this? Noun is this? Aydin. Mankus. What is it? Mankus. Huh? Put Alif Lam. Al Aydi. Huh? Very important to remember. Huh? Al Aydi. Got the idea? This is Mankus. Aydin. Inshallah, you'll remember. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. A piece of jalebi has come. Ma did. What is the meaning of did? Opposite. Opposite. Ma did fauka. This is book one now, brother. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, we finished the lesson. And we will do adasu tasiyu, inshallah. And this is a long lesson with many different. Uh, uh, rules of grammar which will come in front of us and we will study slowly, slowly. They are not difficult. Again, I will only ask you, request you, brothers and sisters, read the key. Huh? Read the key and you will get all the answers. Huh? And read it slowly. Remember, if you read the key and if you did not understand in first reading, doesn't matter. Read it again, slowly, slowly. And you will see that you are understanding everything, inshallah. And then we will uh, study here in the class also. So we will take a break now, inshallah. And then uh, 15 minutes break, no more than 15 minutes, brother and sisters. And then we will uh, study the new lesson, inshallah. Remember my advice? The tea tests, very delicious if you don't talk. We are back from our breaking. Thanks a lot, Sister Mamuna, Sister Aisha, for treating the class with nice, juicy hamburgers. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. You all enjoyed it, brothers and sisters. It was a nice treat. Uh, may Allah bless you all. Thanks, Sister Mamuna and Sister Aisha. Huh? Uh, brothers and sisters, before I go to the next lesson, I want to explain you ta'a. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Remember, Ta'ala, form six. Are you with me? How many words are there? Six. Five. One, two, Alif, four. Huh? No. Five words. Huh? Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Five. Five letters. Huh? There are five letters. Huh? Ta'ala. Huh? And what will be the mudariya? Ya ta'ala. Huh? How will I define ta'ala? Fi'lu ma'adin mabniun ala fatahatin mukaddara. Fatahatin mukaddara. Fi'lu mudariun marfum wa alamatul rafahi Dhammatul Mukaddara. Huh? Inshallah you'll understand. Now, this is Anta. Tata'ala. Antuma. Tata'ala yani. Antum. Tata'alauna. You know that, huh? And then, Anti. Tata'alayna. Huh? And brother, again it comes to the same Antuma, but I did not write. And then, this is Hunna. What is this, brothers and sisters? Hunna will become Tata'a Lain. Okay, fine, brothers and sisters. How do I make Amar? Padasan, how many chops? Two chops. Okay. How many chops here? Also two chops. How many chops? How many chops? How many chops here? One, One chop only. Huh? Remember, it's Mabani. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. So what will be the result of ta'ala? 
What will be it? Ta'al. I like that. But we, you will always hear this ta'al as if there is a sukun on lam. But it is ta'ala. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So ta'ala, fellow huh? amrin mabniun ala hazafi harfi illa. And then this will be ta'alaya. Are you with me? Where is the file here? Mustatir takdiruhu anta. Ta'alaya. Fellow Amrin, Mabniun ala Adafi Noon. Where is the file? Alif, MashaAllah. And then next will be Ta'a Love. Huh? With an Alifu Vikaya. How will you describe Ta'a Love? Fellow Amrin, Mabniun ala Adafi Noon. Where is the file? al huh? Now we come to, brothers and sisters, we come to Ta'a Lai. Uh, remember, when you say to a brother, you say Ta'al. When you say to sister, you'll say Ta'a Lai. Fellow Amrin Mabniun Allah Azafinun. Where is the file? Ya. Inshallah, you understand everything. It's easy, brother. And you have become, Alhamdulillah, you have become very strong, mashallah. Now comes uh, our. This thing, brother. So, what is the the a line? How do you describe this, brother? Fellow Amrin, Mabniun Allah, Mabniun Allah, Sukun. Remember, Hunna and Antunna, they are always Mabniun Allah, Sukun. Then we will say fi mahali rafa'in, fi mahali nasbin, or fi mahali jazmin. Huh? So the fail amars are all majzum. So you will say ta'ala layina, fellow amrin mabniun ala sukun fi mahali jazmin. And where is the file? This noon is the file. Huh? It's not one of those noon, noon ata hai, noon jata hai. This is the file. You cannot. Uh, be without it. If you drop this, then the fail is ruined, you know. Inshallah, you'll remember. Huh? Fine. Well, and sisters, we come to the new lesson uh, in which the main theme is that the noon of Musanna and noon of Jama Muzakkar Salim gets dropped when they become Muda. That's all. It gets dropped when it becomes Muda. Okay, fine. Brothers and sisters, Kitabu Muhammadin. Brothers and sisters, it is Kitabun. In order to make it Mudaf Mudafilehi, I have to say Kitabu Muhammadin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? What did I do when I made kitab bun into mudaf? I dropped one tanween. Got the idea? Kitab bu Muhammadin. Instead of kitab bun, I said kitab bu Muhammadin. Now I will say kitabani. And now make it into mudaf mudafilehi. Then I have to, brothers and sisters, I have to drop this noon. And noon here and noon here also. So what will it become? Kitaba Muhammadin. That's all, brother. Kitaba Kitaba Muhammadin. Is Kitaba Marfu Mansu Majroor? Marfu. What is the sign of its marfu? Alif. Okay. Here what will happen? Kita Bai Muhammadin. Now, is it Majroor, Mansu? Uh, both have the same sign, so it's uh, Mansu, and here we say Kitabai Muhammadin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? 
Right. So in other words, if I, if I have to change Muhammad into a pronoun, what do I do here? I say kitabu hu. Sahi? I say kitabu hu. And what will I say here? Kitabahu. What will I say? Kitabahu. Noon will be dropped. Huh? And if I have to make it mansub, then what will I say? Kitabaihi. What will I say, brothers and sisters? Kitabaihi. Are you with me? Mudaf. Mudaf ilahi. Fine. So, brothers and sisters, when it is marfu, okay, let us write down here marfu. Kita ba. And plus hu. Can you do quickly? Kita ba hu, kita ba huma, kita ba hum, kita ba ha, kita ba huma, kita ba hunna, kita ba ka, kita ba kuma, kita ba kum, kita ba ki, kita ba Kuma kitaba kunna. Now. No. No. What happens, brothers and sisters, that kita ba plus ya mutakallam. Hold your horses. <laughs> See, the, the fata is on ba. What is on alif? Sukun. So, there is a sukun here. Huh? There is a sukun here. When this situation comes, brothers and sisters, huh, then we cannot drop anything. Huh? We do little surgery. And what happens here? We give it a fata. So, what, how will you pronounce it now? Kitabaya. What will you say? Kitabaya. Kitaba Are you with me, Sister Sukhaina? I will say Kitaba and then Ya. Now this is Muda, Muda Filehi. This is Ya Mutakallim, which normally has a Sukun, but it got a Fata because before it came Aleph. When Aleph comes, and are followed by Ya Mutakallim, then the Ya Mutakallim gets a Fatah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, I tell you, what happens here? Shita Bai He. Now, you know, Bai was actually Bai Ni. Are you with me? Kitabai ni. You drop the noon. Is this clear? Huh? This has to be digested first before we swallow anything else. Kitabai hi. Noon was dropped. Why was it dropped? Because it became mudaf. When the musanna becomes mudaf or jama muzakar salim becomes mudaf, then their noons are dropped. Just like we say kitabun. Uh, tanween, and then we say kitabu, when dhamma was dropped, uh, in the singular. Okay, now we say kitabaihi. Ready, brothers and sisters? Kitabaihi, kitabaihima, kitabaihim, kitabaiha, kitabaihima, kitabaihinna, kitabaihika, kitabaihuma, kitabaihum, kitabaihi, kitabaihuma, kitabai Kunna now. Again, Yamata Kalam came. Huh? Okay, ready? He ta bai plus Yamata Kalam. No, there are two sukuns. Huh? So we give it a fata here. Huh? Now we do it ram. What do you do? Kitabaya, mashallah. Kitab 
बैया वट इज किता बैया मुदाफ मुदाफ ले ही वट द आइडिया वट इज किता बाया मुदाफ मुदा पर दिस इज मरफू बिकॉज अलिफ इज द साइन ऑफ मरफू एंड वट इज किता बैया इट कुड बी मनसूब इट कुड बी मशहूर वी विल फिगर आउट इन द सेंटेंस बट इट बिकेम किता बई या एंड देन वॉट विल हैपन इफ यू पुट ना किताबा ना और इट विल बिकम किता बई ना आर यू विथ मी किता बई ना इज इट क्लियर किता बई ना एंड किता बा ना इंशाला ओके दिस इज द मेन थिंग ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर्स इन दिस लेसन प्लस देर आर मेनी अदर थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू डू इट इंशाला Having explained you this, I'll move further, brother. Inshallah. But maybe there, there is one more thing that I must explain. Brother, you will read the key thoroughly today, and tomorrow you should be well prepared. Huh? Now, because Inshallah we'll be repeating this tomorrow, so you will uh, get better understanding by tomorrow. Today, too many things will come in front of you. Okay, brother. What is this? Kilahuma. What is the meaning of kilahuma? Both of them. Both of them. Kilahuma. Both of them. Huh? Fine, brother. Is it marfu? Why? Are mashallah. See. Now make it mansoop. Kilai, kilai hima. What will you say? He, lai, hima. Are you with me, brother? Kilai, hima. Fine. Now make it monas. What did I say? खेलता हूं आर यू विथ मी इज इट मार्फो वॉट इज द साइन आई लिव मेक इट नो मनसूब एंड मजरूर खेल ताई हेमा आर यू विथ मी ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर्स खेल ताई हेमा नाउ ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर्स Huma is a damir came. What came after kila? Damir came. Huh? Damir came. Huh? So it is mudaf, mudafili. Huh? It became mudaf, mudafili. <coughs> Now instead of huh? damir, we put a noun. Remember, it is mudaf mudafili. So instead of damir, we put a noun, proper noun. So I say, What did I say now? Kila thali baini. Are you with me? Because remember, kila will only come as a mudaf. What will it come as a mudaf? Kila huma huma is mudafili, and kila thali baini thali baini is a mudafili. Got the idea? Huh? Or you will also say kila thali baini. Are you with me? Kilta, thali batai ni. Now remember, kila, thali bai ni, mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Now this kila, when the mudaf ilahi is a proper noun, will not undergo change when it is mansoop. Did it undergo change when it became mansub? 
כי לאי הימה, אל יוריד מי שיש אסור חיינה, כי לתאי הימה, did it undergo the change? Why? Uh, because it was Damir. Are you with me? Why? Because it was Damir. This Kila or Kilsa will not undergo any change when they are Mansub or Majroor. Huh? Inshallah, we will try to understand it. Now, again, this is the first time a new concept comes. As I have always told you before, brothers and sisters, that when the new concept comes, it takes a little time to sink in. Huh? As much as you can understand, because tomorrow we'll do the same thing again, and you'll read the key, and inshallah you'll become very, very strong. Things have to be remembered, huh? inshallah. And there are lots of exercises, brothers and sisters. Now, I only showed you, I only showed you uh, Musanna. Huh? Now, maybe I should show you here Mudari uh, Su Qur'ani. Translation, brother? <coughs> Teacher of the Quran. Huh? Now I want to say teachers. Mudarri su. Loom will be dropped. Huh? And then Quran will come. Quran. Huh? Now make it Mudarri su into Mansub and Majru. Mudarri. Mudarri Seen. Are you with me? So what will you say now here? Mudarri Si. Are you with me? Mudarri Si Al Quran. Inshallah you will read the key properly. Brothers and sisters, the key of book 3 is amazing. It's a it's a beautiful tool to understand book three properly, inshallah, and you'll read it, inshallah. Now why st- we start the lesson. Adarfut Tasir. Al Mudaris. Aina. What is it, brother and sister? Highlight whenever you see that ya, you highlight it. And I would also ask you uh, this is what I did, brother and sisters. What is it? Kalama. Yeah. Are you, are you with me? What is Kalama? Yeah. Mudaf. Mudaf. Is it Marfu? Yes. What is the sign of Marfu? And I, in my notebook, when I was studying, I put a small noon here in a circle. Why did I put that? To remind me. That there was a noon there which has been dropped. Now, you know, these are, you will also come up, uh, come up with some ideas how to make the understanding more strong. I thought if I say kalamaya and if I put a tiny noon there on top of the word with a circle that tells me originally it was kalamani and then with uh, ya mutakallim. Uh, it became kalama ya. Are you with me, sister Afzal? Now I'm hinting you, brother and sister, if you like to do it, you do it. Okay? But if you do it, it will always remind you that that is what has happened here. Uh, something happened here. Aina kalama ya. So what is kalama ya? Mudaf. Mudaf. Very good. But see how beautiful the dialogue is. You know? I am amazed at this, you know, way the Dr. Sahib presents us the new rules. Everything you will see has to be with Mosanna or Chama Mudakar Saleh. Uh, noon being dropped. Aina Kalamaya. Be south in Alin. Explain me, brother. Be south in Alin. In loud voice. 
araitum did you see what did you see kalamaya uh, why kalamaya if, if if you remove yamata kalam what will you see he, what will be the sentence araitum kalamaini uh, what will be kalamaini now put yamata kalam kalamaya again write a tiny, tiny noon there to remind you brother and sister ya ikhwanu brother and sister is it clear brother hasan yes uh, the sentence is clear huh? aina kalamaya translation where are, where are my two pens huh? my two pens araitum did you see my two pens huh? okay uh, because here kalamai is uh, what is kalamai mafulun bihi mansub wa huwa mudaf and ya mutakallim mudaf ilayhi and brother what is the sign of its being mansub kalamai yeah that is why it is mansub very good brother ha huma zani here they are ha huma zani we are going to understand this later on in the key inshallah how to say here they are ha huma zani okay brothers and sisters ya ustad they are here huma what is huma brothers and sisters mubtada mubtada tahta hakibati ka they are under your bag huh? inshallah huh? what is tahta brothers and sisters zarf shibu jumla khabar ha huh? mashallah always if it is jumla ismiya we got to find out the khabar and describe it tahta is a zarf shibu jumla khabar and waqt is hakibati mudaf ilayhi wa huwa mudaf mashallah mashallah aka mudaf ilayhi ha tu means give brother da fatira kum ha tu da fatira kum ha tu yes fail amar da fatira is mafulun bihi wa huwa mudaf and kum mudaf ya ikhwan yusallimu li kullu wahidin minkum yusallimu li brother <laughs> everybody should give it to me huh what they should give me daftarain huh? what is daftarain brother look at this yusallimu where is the file sir sir afsa kullu wa huwa mudaf and wahid mudaf ilay min kum jar majru where is mafulun bihi daftarain ya mansu ha what is the sign of its being mansu ya لِأَنَّهُ مُثَنَّى إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ Every one of you Every one should give me مِنْكُمْ of you huh, brother? Every one of you should give me two notebooks دَفْتَرَ نَحْوِي وَدَفْتَرَ سَرْفِي Brother, what is this? Daftaraini and daftara nahwi and daftara sarfi. What are they? I know it is badal, badal, badal. It is mudah mudafili, but it is badal, huh? because it is. It refers to daftaraini. Yeah? That was excellent, sister Rafza. That it is a badal. Mashallah, mashallah. At tulabu mubteda. Where is the khabar? yusallimuna ha lahu dafatirahum the students they gave him their notebooks now brother look at it how beautiful the sentences are ha because we are only understanding musanna and we are understanding jama muzakkar salim coming as a muda they are coming as a mudaf aina daftaraka ya hisham what is daftaraka mudaf mudafili so what is rimuka aina daftarani so again the noon was dropped put a tiny noon there 
to, to remind you that noon has been dropped here because the Musanna came as a Muda, MashaAllah. Salam tu huma laka amsi. See, laka. Salam tu huma laka. What is huma? Huma. Salam tu huma. Mafuran bi. Badi der karte hai ab jawab de ne. Aap ki khawoshi mujhe pareshan karti hai. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Your silence puzzles me. Salam to Huma. Huma is your mafurun bihi. Laka is char majur. Amsi is what is amsi? Zarf. Fine. Now, now Mudar is, is asking Majid. A salam ta li daftaraika. Ah, brother. Salam ta. Before salam tu, tu was filed. Now salam ta, ta is filed. Did you give me your two notebooks, Ya Majid? So if you remove ka, what will be left? Dafta rai. And put ka, dafta rai ka. Got the idea, brother? Dafta rai ka. Drop the noon, huh? Inshallah. He got the idea. Inni nasitu an atiya bihima. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ata yati. Be to bring. I forgot to bring hima, two of them. I forgot. Nasitu, where is the mafulun bi for nasitu? And atiya. Atiya. Master muawwal. Atiya. Why would you put ya there? Because nakis verb, we make it mansub by putting a fata. All these rules you will remember, inshallah. Idhab ilal mahjai fil fushati wa ati biha. And bring them. Fushati means break, you know. Idhab ilal mahjai. Go to the your dormitory in the break and bring them. Now look at wati, brothers and sisters. What is wati? Amar. Now I had already explained you in detail, but I'll again explain you tomorrow, inshallah. Huh? How the special changes come in atayati. I will explain you tomorrow. But I think I'm sure I had explained you before also. Yeah. We'll do it tomorrow. The Fatiru man hadhi ya harisu. Translation, brother? No, not two books. The Fatiru, plural. Whose notebooks are these? Ya oharis. Okay. So, brother, Haza, what is the dual of Haza? Hazani. Hazani daftara ya. Okay, brother. What is Hazani? Muftida. Is it marfu? Yes. Yeah. What is the sign of its marfu? Alif. And the khabar has to be marfu. So, what is khabar? Daftara. Alif is the sign of marfu. Now, remove ya mutakalam. Uh, daftara ni and then it, you, you change you drop the noon and you say daftara ya yeah. yeah. does it make sense now brothers and sisters inshallah huh? hadani daftara ya these are my two notebooks wa hadani again mubtada daftara khabar amidin huh? very good ah. taal Ya Hisham. Now we already got the understanding of Ta'al. Come. Felu Amrin Mabniun Allah Hazafi Harfi Illa. And then where is the file? Mustatir Takdiruhu Anta. Ta'al Ya Hisham. Khuz. Take. Take what? Daftaraika. Mafulun Bihi. Huh? If you remove ka, what will happen? Khuz. 
daftaraini ha and you put ka and you drop the noon ha daftaraika now brothers and sisters i think we did some uh, jewels uh, in a mansoof form hazani becomes hazaini are you with me hazani becomes hazaini hatani becomes hatain no we haven't done the dual of zalika and we are going to do it here zalika will become zanika what will it become zanika ha huh? za nika okay that is your dual form of zalik and tilka will become tanika are you with me brothers and sisters yeah. now because these are the new nouns that are coming in front it will take us little while to get hold of them inshallah zanika daftara zamilika the teacher is saying to isham take your two books and those two books are for your colleague okay analyze it brother zanika what is zanika mubtada marfu the khabar daftara ha huh? huh? wa zamili mudaf ilayhi wa huwa mudaf and ka mudaf ilayhi ma sha Allah ma sha Allah ya masud aina akhawaka remuka aina akhawani ha now bring ka aina akhawaka ha akhawaka is mudaf mudaf ilayhi ha are you with me brothers and sisters la yahdurani fi hadara yahduru yahduru yahdurani la yahdurani munzu yawmayni translation brother they are not coming since last two days huh? okay brother la yahdurani what is yahdurani fi'lun mudari'un marfu'un bi subutinun there is the file alif is your file mashallah and munzu what is munzu harf jar remember brother munzu is harf jar do not mix it with uh, zarf it's harf jar huh? a preposition munzu is preposition aw salasatin okay brothers and sisters what is the answer kila huma kila huma maridun no in here there is a special rule of grammar let us try to understand ha huh? because this lesson has lot of small rules brother kila huma what is kila mudaf and huma mudaf ilayhi are you with me brothers and sisters is kila marfu yes what is the sign alif so kila is your mubtada wa huwa mudaf and huma mudaf ilayhi and where is the khabar maridun but we are talking about both of them are sick but i do not say maridani kila huma should have been maridani but i say maridun so what is the rule that even though kila huma means to but we use it as a mufrad are you with me kila huma means to huh but we treat it as a single noun that is why the khabar becomes singular are you with me brother it will be incorrect to say kila huma maridani and we can be tempted to say because we say kila huma to the khabar should match mubtada so it should be maridani no this is the rule brother kila huma even though it represents to but we treat it how do we treat it as singular and the khabar is maridun this is also a new rule everything is mentioned beautifully in the key you got to 
read the key properly, huh? line by line, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, I will only take a few more minutes. Huh? Madha bihima. Madha bihima means what is the problem with them? When you go to the doctor, the doctor will say, no, you only go to the doctor because you have a problem. You just don't go to the doctor and say, I have come to visit you and say, Salaamu Alaikum. <laughs> you have a reason to go to the doctor. What will the doctor ask you? Madha bika. Or if you are a sister, what he will ask you? Madha biki. What is the problem? Madha bihima. Brothers and sisters, Inna has come. So, Kilahuma became uh, Kilahima. What happened, Brother uh, Hassan? Inna Kilahima. What happened? Kilahuma became Kilahima. What did it become? Because of Inna. Uh, ismu Inna Mansub. Uh, so, Kilay is Ismu Inna Mansub. Wahua Mudaf. And Huma Mudafili. Kilehima Musabun. Bi Ishal in Shadid. Ishal, brother and sister, is diarrhea. They are both stricken with, with diarrhea, brother. What did I write down? Asaba. What kind of a verb is? Harmful. Make it into mudariya. What is it, brother and sister? You see. Make it into ism file. Musibun. Musibatun comes from here. Are you with me? Make it into ism maf'ul. To be stricken with. To be stricken with. Huh? Huh? Will become. See, first I make Islam file. Musi bun. Then I make Islam maf'ul. Huh? Sister Nasir, are you following, inshallah? Huh? Musa bun. Brothers and sisters, even if you get 50% of this, it's good enough. Because tomorrow, day after tomorrow, you will get 70%, 80%. And in about one week's time, you will understand fully. Inna kilay hima musabun is your khabar inna bi ishalin shadidin. Okay. Shafa huma Allahu. Shafa huma Allahu. What is shafa? Fial madi. Is it nakis? Yes. What kind of nakis is this? Yahi. Ah, see, Sister Afza. Shafa Yashfi. Are you with me? Shafa Yashfi. So Shafa, huh? and then make it into Huma, and then Allahu. So what is your Allahu? Fine. What is Huma? Now when you join Damir with the verb, it became Shafa Huma. I had a feeling that you will see the Aleph and you will say it is Bahavi. But it is Yai. Huh? Inshallah. Shafa Huma Allahu. Inshallah. Annu'manu. Al-Jawu Harun Yaustan. I wish we can say that also. <laughs> what shall we say to the Ustad? Al Jawu Baridun Jiddan Ya Ustad. Okay, brother. Al Jawu Mubtada. Harun Khabar. Ya Harfunida. Ustad Munada. Brothers and sisters, we stop here. We'll continue tomorrow from here onwards. And I hope you will spare some time and read the key. Because the key will give you thorough understanding. Huh? Very interesting lesson. Brothers and sisters, each lesson now that we are going to learn has got some very beautiful things. 
My favorite lessons are lesson number 12, lesson number 13, lesson number 14, and lesson number 15. These are my favorite lessons. Because you learn so many different things, beautiful things, and they all come in the Quran. And you will be able to appreciate and understand, inshallah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa kina adhab an-nar. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunin. وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا رَبَّنَا تَكَبَّلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ سَمِيُّ الْعَلِيمِ وَتُبُ عَلَيْنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ تَوَابُ رَحِيمِ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ يَمْ